guys, it's Renee. So today I thought I would just talk about the very basic baking essentials for me. I'm going to most likely divide this into three videos because I need to talk about cookies, cupcakes, cakes, and if I do that in this one whole video, it's going to take like half an hour. A lot of people have a lot more than what I'm going to be mentioning, but those are the things that I use more often and work best when you are like in a budget or you don't have a lot of things and you just want to make it work with a few things. So if that's your case, then keep on watching. And if not, you just can see what I use. Okay, to start with for the cookies, the cookies I'm talking about are the cut out or decorated cookies. So the first thing that I have here is my cookie dough recipe. You're going to find a lot of recipes from different blogs, different books, different people. Mine, I find out that it's a pretty basic one because it only takes four ingredients, but it always has success. And maybe if you don't have a recipe that you like, you can check it out. Or if you do and you want to try something else, just go ahead and check it. My second essential is my royal icing recipe. I used to use one of those royal icing mixes. This one tastes a lot better. I got this recipe originally from a blog that I'm going to link below. But with mine, you're only going to get two cups. Sometimes you just want to try an idea of a few cookies or sometimes you just don't have a lot of cookies to decorate. Most of the times I just have a lot of leftovers. So what I do, and that brings me to my next point, is put my leftover realizing in my container, like on the bottom part, and then cover it with some clean pack, put the lid on my container, and then just store it at room temperature and it lasts a long time for me. My next point is my rolling pin with space zero bands. This is going to be a lifesaver when you have a lot of cookies to make. All of your cookies are going to be like the same thickness. They're going to be most likely ready at the same time. My next one is my cookie cutter collection. And this is as well where I store my collection. I like it because it looks like a suitcase. <laughs> I don't have that many cookie cutters and just so you know, I have like the, just the basic and I find out that I tend to gravitate more towards the shapes that are just like basic, like round shape or just square shape, things like that. The ones that I use are these ones that I bought at a local store, plasticky things and these are better because they are bigger and I do have a video where I show you how I use them. It's going to be below, and then I have this glass of something, but in a local store. Then I have a star, then I have squares, then I have a teddy bear, then I have a butterfly, and I have a bigger one somewhere. Then I have a coffee mug. I'm planning to make cookies out of this soon. Buy it at a local store leaves, and the tiny butterfly, the tiny leaf of the collection, I have a heart, daisies, they came in a set, they are I believe from Wilton, I barely ever use the small ones because they are too small for cookies, Hello Kitty, bought it at a local store, a mushroom that you can use for many more things, my other butterfly, my star, uh, the square one, the small one, a tiny daisy, the tiniest teddy bear. This I use for like cutting or you know, just some random things. For maybe if you're working with fondant, somebody gave it to me. This I like, I've never used though. It's a flower, a round one, this one comes on handy, but since I had this ones, I use more of this ones. A flower, another shape of flower, brown one, a star, this one I love, I haven't used though, a guitar. This is a dress, I need to work on my dress cookies pretty soon. My Mickey Mouse, I do have a tutorial using this one, it's from a local store, I actually have a moon as well, and that's pretty much all I have. And then I have some stencils for when I want to make some like painting on cookies. This is where I store this one, this is out, I guess it's too big for the Ziploc bag, I think, there you go. And then my sixth essential is my Ziploc bag. 
A lot of people use piping bags and piping tips. They use piping tip number one or two. I honestly prefer to work with Ziploc bags, but I feel like I can control more the amount of icing that goes out. And I've never had a problem using Ziploc bags. I just place my icing in there and then just close it. I make a small tiny hole with my scissors and I'm pretty much good to go. And plus, I feel like the cleaning part is a lot easier with Ziploc bags. I bought a kit of the Wilton brand. I honestly don't like it. I prefer the American colors because it's more. this one is more like a paste, the Wilton one. It's, for me, it's a lot messier to use the Wilton brand and then the American colors. And as you can see, I'm running out of a lot of colors. The bad thing about the American colors is that you have to purchase them online. They are not as accessible as the Wilton brand, I think. These markers, I tend to use them for my cookies decorated. These are Wilton brand. This is how thin or thick depends on how you see them they are. So as you can see, it's not very fine. Okay, you're just going to get that. I'm trying to get into more fine markers, but these are the ones that I only have access to and I bought this at Michael's. Then my next essential is my scrap tool. I never realized how important this was until when I made it. And this is pretty much a homemade tool. Again, I'm going to link the DIY below. But it's just pretty much so you can remove all of the air bubbles and it's going to help you kind of distribute your icing throughout the whole cookie. You can use a toothpick as well for this or you can buy one. But honestly, I find out that it's better to use a scrap tool rather than a toothpick because a scrap tool, you just clean it and you can reuse it. My next essential is my parchment paper or my wax paper. Sometimes I don't have access to parchment paper, so I have to buy a wax paper. And I've honestly never had an issue with wax paper. I use this thing for when I make my realizing transfers. So it's going to be a lot easier to just peel off your icing and just place it on your cookie. My next essential is brushes. This is not essential if you're just working with basic kind of decorations. It's more so when you're painting on cookies. For that, for painting on cookies, you need a brush, you need your gel food colors mixed with some extract. And for that, I use uh, almond extract because it's translucent. Then you're not going to be using this dust in every one of your cake decorations, but it, it's fun to just have the option to just add something different to your cookies. So for that, I have a few of these codasts. A lot of people say that you're not supposed to eat them, even though they say non-toxic that you're not supposed to eat it. Honestly, we have eaten a lot of cookies with this codast and we have never had issues with that. So it's pretty much a personal preference, I think, but that's one of the things that I use. Then for decorating as well, I use some sprinkles and that's pretty much self-explanatory. You can always decorate your cookies with sprinkles and they're going to look nice. You can buy them all over the place, online, Walmart, Target, local places, all over the place. And then to add my sprinkles, I generally use my tweezers and I use only baking tweezers. They are regular tweezers, but I wash them after I bought them and they are only used for baking, nothing else. It comes on handy to have that when you're applying sprinkles. And then once my icing is done, I generally have to thicken the formula or thicken the consistency. And for that, I use my water spray bottle. I just add a tiny bit of water and then I spray until I just have the consistency that I'm looking for. That comes on handy and you're going to have more control over how much water you put on your icing. And the last thing that is where I store my cookies once they are decorated or sometimes when they are not decorated and I just am decorating them for later. So this is it for the cookies, given the fact that I don't have a lot of things and that I just, you know, work with what I have and I just want to share this one. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it if you enjoyed it or if it was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and I'll talk to you in the next Friday for the Cupcake Essentials. Bye guys!